Today in this tutorial, we're going to look at your preference settings in Autodesk Sketchbook. If you go to the upper left hand side, we have these options here and we're going to explore the preferences. The first two help improve our products and show tool tips. You could turn those on and off. Uh, they're not really necessary for you guys. If you turn the show tool tips off, all it's going to do is not include that information for you. So let's explore the third option here. Tap hold color picker. This is my one of my favorite tools. What that means is, let's say for example, we start off with a bunch of colors. So I have my marker setting and I'm going to pick a bunch of these different colors. And instead of having to go like, say right here where you have to change the hue and trying to find that exact color again later let's see i go here different gradations what the tap hold color picker does is let's say i had this pinky color if i want to capture this yellow color again i just hold down on it and then it picks that color up again or if i want to switch instead of having to keep toggling between the color swatches if i want to capture this color you just hold it till you see that little targety dropper and you can get that again and that's how you deal with the tap hold color or this is really handy when you insert a picture so to add a picture i'm going to go to my photos and my go-to is this picture of this parrot i took uh, from south america and i'm going to move him down here and i want to start doing the drawing there and we'll talk about later layers in another lesson but if I zoom in and let's say I really like this color right here, all I have to do is hold on to that. Oops. There you go. I captured it and I want to be able to use that color. So whenever you are dealing with another picture and instead of trying to match it and try to figure it out here on the side, you could just pick it up right there by just holding on to it. Oops. Let's see. Hold and undo that two fingers and that's how you capture those colors so that's a handy little thing there when it comes to using the tap hold color picker if I turn it off now I will no longer have that option so if I try to do that that's no longer to be a thing and I'll have to figure out the colors on my own I highly recommend you keep the tap hold color picker on handy tool we're going to talk about in your preference settings is the rotate canvas this is another one I recommend you keep on because if you grab two fingers in the rotate canvas, this helps you just turn your canvas around. And um, this is really helpful whenever you wanna to try to zoom in and get into something, or sometimes we're just naturally inclined to draw something a certain way. That's what that will do. But if I go into preferences and turn that off, what that does is it locks my canvas. Oops. Um, and with two fingers, you see, I can zoom in and out, but I'm trying to turn it and I'm not able to. Uh, this is, again, another one I recommend you keep the rotate canvas on. So with your two fingers, you could turn your canvas around to work in. The next tool we're going to look at in the preferences is pixel preview. I like to keep mine off, but this is something that you might want to keep on or turn on when it comes to printing or if you have to zoom in on something. So what you need is to see the differences. I'm going to just draw some things on here and you can see the difference when I zoom in. So this is zoomed in with the pixel preview. And then if I go and turn it on, this is what it will show when you print it out or when you zoom in. You can see the pic if it's where the pixelations are happening. So this is with it on, go here and then see the difference. And that's the one is turned off. So that's the only difference with pixel preview, not highly necessary in all circumstances. Um, for me, I'm just going to keep it off for the time being. Double tap corner shortcuts is really nifty. I prefer to keep these on. And when you're in the moment drawing, working on your drawing these are going to come in handy so i have it turned on and this is what it looks like now to really see get the great effect of it i'm going to draw some things on there now if i double tap with one finger in the far left corner upper left hand corner uh, if i double tap that's going to clear the entire layer so double tap boop, boop, and everything is wiped away gone now let's say for example i draw something and i just did the first of the red 
than the blue. If I double tap in the bottom left hand corner with my one finger, tap tap, it just undoes the last thing. Now, if I want to frame the canvas, all I have to do is double tap in the upper right corner, tap tap, and this is the frame canvas uh, option. So if you wanna do the quick, quick tap, that's what you got right there. And if you wanna redo something, you just double tap in the bottom right corner, tap tap, and that'll redo anything that you worked on. So let me draw something else and I hit redo. And that's just something that'll redo what you had ultimately did. So I recommend keeping the double tap corner sh shortcuts on. If you turn that off, obviously you won't be able to have the double tap thing. So some people prefer to keep it uh, locked and if they wanna undo something, they just go up here or right there or if they want a clear layer, sometimes people just prefer to just go to the layers and hit the clear button. But this is just a nice little short thing, a nice little shortcut to. The three finger tap toggle full, uh, full screen is another um, one I like to keep on. I like to keep on anything that is shortcuts. It takes a little bit to learn, but once you work in this long enough, you'll get them down. This is what three finger tap to full screen means. It's like taking three fingers and I tap, and that puts it to full screen. So all the options are pulled out and you don't have to have that distraction. If you want to revert back to it, just um, d double tap with the three fingers. Same thing, uh, we have the three finger swipe menu. This one's handy, like if you want your menu, you could go up and down right here, or you take your three fingers and swipe, and it pops up for you as well. The last of the settings is we have pen connection. If you're just drawing with your fingers or one of the low-end stylus pens, this isn't necessary. This is whenever you have one of the fancier pens like the Apple Pen and you want to connect your pen to the device. Um, that one involves connecting with the Bluetooth and that just means you just connect it into your charging deck dock. If you want some good stylus recommendations, uh, you could just type in stylus pens. Um, my biggest recommendation is just to work with a fine point stylus pen. Sometimes you'll see the ones with the little bulkier end. Those are okay. It's kind of like working with your finger, like this one right here. That's the little bulkier ones. My favorites are anything that has a pointy tip, just like a pencil. And then finally, we have the reset color swatches, all the, uh, the resets here. That just reverts everything back to the originals. If you want to reset your quick tour that usually pops up when you initially start the app, you could always turn those on, but you also have the videos to reference.